All right. We're recreating an old set. Fight. Okay, so y'all see the wheel is on the green, which is recreate an old set. So that's what we're gonna do for this video. So let's just go ahead and um. Okay, so in this box right here is a whole ton of nails that I've done over the last two years. So what I wanted to do originally was like pick a nail out of this box randomly, like closing my eyes. And then whatever nail I come out with, that's when nail I have to create a whole nail set around that one nail design. But now I just got a new a little idea kind of sort of so i thought why not pick like two or three of them out and then do those nail designs combined in one so basically pick three different nails and then try to combine those three nail designs into one whole nail set let's ask siri to pick a random number hey siri Siri don't ever want to pop up. I have my settings set for Siri to pop up. Like, I don't understand. Okay, whatever. We gonna ask Google. Cause Siri acting a little iffy. We're gonna ask Google. Pick a random number. Okay, let's, let's click generate. Five. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and accept the challenge. We're gonna pick five nails from out of this box and kind of recreate it into a new set. Honestly, got five fingers, five different nail designs. I don't see the issue. And in addition to the challenge, we're gonna be unboxing a PR package I received from Model Ones. And we're gonna be doing the set with that PR package, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and do our post notification shout out. So these were the very first three people to comment on my last video. So thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and being the first three people to comment on my video. And if you like a shout out just like these three lovely people here, all you have to do is make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can be one of the first three people to comment. That way you'll get a shout out just like these three people here. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like have a combination of like nerves and excitement for this challenge. So um, we shall see. So I have my camera here just recording what I pick out so y'all can see it up close and personal. So y'all can see I'm not cheating. Cause some of y'all be swearing I be cheating. I don't, I promise you I don't. So, let me up. All right, so closing my eyes, looking away even this. Okay, what is this? <sighs> okay, so we have the icicle nail from Christmas. We'll go ahead and put that right there in that side, in that side little pocket right there. Okay, number two, I'm looking away. Okay, this one. This one feels like it's a stiletto. I think I did this one for a Halloween video. So we got the black drips, so we could do drips. All right, let's go for number three. See what we get. This is another a little okay so we got some glitter here which is i mean that's pretty easy pretty simple let's go for four i kind of like this okay this one. Ooh, so we got some rhinestone action so rhinestones for four this one Okay, so we got some dot action here. So that's number five. Pretty simple, right? But the, the thing about it is we gotta make it all kind of make sense and mesh together. But we're gonna do it. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And y'all, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Let's get started. So these are the gel art liners that I got in from Model Ones and I've already used them. I took them for a test drive for a TikTok video and I absolutely love them. They're super pigmented and this is what we're gonna use for this video. I have the link in the description down below if you want to go check them out. We have a few colors to choose from here. We got pink, we got green, we got yellow, we got two shades of yellow. We have some glitters here. We have blue, orange, you know, all the good stuff. So yeah, quite a bit to choose from. But this is how the bottle looks right here. And then it gives an example of what the color will look like on the top. But y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I think I bit off more than I could chew 
picking five. I don't know why in the world I left it up to Google to pick the number of nails I will pick out of that bin. But that's why they call this a challenge and I already said what I was gonna do and I'm not gonna backtrack. We're gonna try to figure it out, but here's what's gonna have to happen. Of course, all of these colors don't go together. So basically, I'm gonna just pick colors to complement each other enough to make this work. But I still have to include all five of these different designs in the nail set. Okay, so I think for the acrylic, I'm gonna start off with this nude and this glitter acrylic here as you see right here we have some glitter here and i really want to incorporate that and it's pretty close it's not the same exact thing i'm just going to start my colors off with this base and then i'm really going to rely on these colors that i have from these gel liners to really come through for the nail design but now we're just going to prep so i'm just going to push back my cuticles and I'm gonna take my e-file with a sanding band and just remove the shine. I have it on a very low speed. This one is at, uh, what is it, seven RPM. I'm just gliding across and you never wanna hold your e-file in one place because you're gonna burn yourself. So you just wanna glide from side to side at a low speed. Trust me, I had to learn this the hard way. So I wanna go for a square shape so we're gonna put on these square tips and i highly doubt i'm gonna have it this long we're gonna cut it down but i'm gonna take my sanding band and just file this little hump you see from the side view right there just on the smile line but we're staying on the false nail so just to file that little hump down and then i kind of do want them a little long like right here so I decided I wanted to make them a little longer and I cut the points and finger a little shorter than what I wanted it to. I did it to mimic the thumb. So now to make it a little longer, I'm just gonna add back on the piece that I cut off with some nail glue. Once I shape it and put acrylic on it, you will never know the difference. I'm just filing down this little hump to kind of make it flat. I feel like the shape is pretty good, but I'm just gonna just go in just a little bit on each side. Okay, now we got to lay this acrylic. So for monomer, I'm using this Model 1's acrylic liquid, and honestly, I feel like their acrylic liquid is a little easier on the smell. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about their monomer if you've used it before. So just so y'all can see the shade of nude I'm gonna use, here is kind of a swatch of it right there. So when laying acrylic, I try not to use as many beads simply because of time. The thing about Model 1's acrylic is it doesn't dry quickly. I really don't have to worry about it drying up on me, but it is a little bit runnier than what I personally like but I can still work with it. As you can see, like I'm kind of running behind it a little bit. And because I put a nail tip on top of another, I really want to keep this bottom half as thin as possible. So I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic down here and kind of like fan it up a little bit and then just bring the excess down. So I was going to try and keep this kind of like a two bead type thing but we're gonna do three beads so i'm basically just patting it as it kind of drips down the nail and i like to point my nail downward so it can kind of naturally settle into place and i'm just really patting patting it all the way down until you know, it's flattened all the way. Now for the cuticle bead, I kind of put it right before the cuticle and kind of inch it up. And then just pat the rest down. And you never want to overflow the cuticle. 
which is kind of why I kind of put the B right before the cuticle instead of like putting it right up on it. Because if you do that, you're definitely gonna have some lifting issues because the acrylic is gonna be on your skin and you don't want that. But there you have it, but you know, look at there. You have that little dip there, but we're gonna fill that in. Okay, let's just try to fill this dent right here. Ten times better. Look at that. So I decided to put the nude on the pointer, the ring, and the thumb. So to incorporate this nail right here in the set, I'm going to use this glitter acrylic from Model Ones. Look at that. That's going to be so nice. And you know what? I'm going to do something a little different than what I had. So... Oh, that's going to be a little messy. There we go. And then I'm going to take the glitter and put it at the tip and just kind of fan it upward. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. And I know it's not the same exact thing from my nail that I picked, but like I said, we're gonna make it 10 times better than what it was. And now for this finger, I think I'm just gonna put a clear acrylic, well, at least on this part, because we need to do the icicle nail. And that nail needs to be see-through or translucent or whatever you wanna say. It's all the same thing. Although I'm trying to figure out whether I want to do like the ombre on this one too. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the ombre on here too, but and now I'm just gonna cap this off here. You turn it to the side and see it's very thin. I applied thin beads because you wanna make sure that you have more clear acrylic than color acrylic from my understanding because the clear acrylic is where all the strength lies and i haven't mastered capping with one bead yet so um i just kind of do it with however many beads it takes honestly so don't feel bad if it takes you more than a couple beads to cap off I'm gonna put a little bit down here at the tip. Okay, so this is how the nails look so far. I went on and filed and buffed and did everything off camera because we got a lot to do. So I'm already noticing the pinky is a little bit shorter than the other nails. 100% my fault, it is what it is, but we're just going to pretend like you don't see that. We're gonna set the nails up like this. All right, so here's what we still have to accomplish. Now, we already did this one, which was the glitter. I incorporated the glitter in the pinky. So we can just go ahead and throw that one right on out there. And now we have the jewels, we have the broken ice effect, we have the dyes, and then we have the drips. We're going to start with the broken ice effect and I'm gonna put it on this finger that I kinda did another little ombre look. I'm just taking just regular clear gel top coat and just putting it underneath that and scrunch, 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 scrunch. Scrunch it all up. And then once you got it scrunched up the way you like, cure for about eh, 30 seconds. All right, we had it cured. Now, rip off the band-aid. Yeah, that's, that's how that looks. Okay, I think I figured out what I wanna do. So I have the pink and the white gel art liners from Model Ones. All of the colors are giving more like, kind of like a neon. There's that right there. And they're really, really bright. And this is, you know, your typical white. It's just regular white. So I think we're gonna go in with the dots, but instead of doing the whole nail, we'll do a French look. Let's just see how this is gonna work out, so. Let's go 
go in with this pink, y'all, and do the other side, kind of the same exact way. Okay, I think that's cool. Let's just kind of fill it in on each side. So if you couldn't tell already, one side is gonna be pink and then the other side is going to be white. All right, and just kind of meet them in the middle. I wanna take this ombre brush and just kind of like blend both of them in. Ooh, it's blending a little well. So now it's kind of like an ombre. So now we're gonna take my dotting tool. We're gonna do pink dots on the white side and then white dots on the pink side. Hopefully it'll turn out the way I think it will. So I'm gonna start with like big dots towards the bottom, bigger dots towards the bottom, and then kind of like gradually they'll get small, so. <laughs> I'm kind of cool with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and then do the rest. Okay, and now I think I'm gonna put the pink in the center. sort of kind of cute right now I'm gonna cure that and I really really want this set to flow together so to help this flow out a little bit I'm just gonna outline this one with white Ooh, that was a little messy gonna take some acetone and just kind of straighten this out a bit and then this side too because this side was like a bit much Okay, so I decided to put the polka dot look on the other finger, my ring finger as well, and do the white border around the pinky. So to me, that's flowing real nicely and I love it. So we can go ahead and, you know, kick that one to the curb. So now we just have rhinestones to do and this drip look. Now, before we get into the rhinestones, I want to focus on the drips so i want to do it instead of the drip being by the cuticle i'm thinking to do the drip right there on the free edge let's let's just see and then i think i wanted to drip like right here and then we'll do like white on the sides hopefully we can do like an ombre look like i said i'm not sure how this is gonna look but we're just gonna figure this out together and then I'm just gonna do like a straight line all the way down. Okay, so with this part, I'm a little unsure. these be the white now I'm just gonna blend everything in and hope for the best at this point it's not bad kind of add some more pink right here kind of really have it blend out Take some acetone, straighten this little, little part out a little bit better. Okay, so the drips are done. I'm not crazy about it, but you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add that extra drip 
right here at the bottom really fast. And then I'll just add it like right here. And then you can take a liner and just kind of go up with it. So it can look like a little drip. All right, now we're finished with the drips. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is these rhinestones. I already have them laid out here. So this is kind of how I want the placement a little bit. We'll see how that goes. And we're gonna put it right there on this nail. So we're just gonna put some gel. And then I like using my dotting tool to place the, um, the gel. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down. I like to add the rhinestones before I put the top coat because I noticed that the rhinestones, they adhere better to the nail when it's a tacky surface compared to a smooth surface. So the rhinestones won't easily come off. So if your rhinestones are popping off really, really easily, I would recommend putting them on before you put a top coat on. And then once I get all the rhinestones on and cured, then I'll add the top coat around the rhinestones, if that makes sense. I kind of put the larger rhinestone in the middle there on a little cricket, but we're finished though. We're gonna put top coat. So like I said, put the top coat on around the rhinestones. Just like that. And I promise you, I've seen it myself. Your rhinestones will last a lot longer. Probably a whole two weeks, most likely than if you would have put it on a smooth surface. I am in love with this finished set. I was worried for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but it actually came out pretty good. I wanna give a big thank you to Model Ones for sponsoring this video and for giving me these beautiful gel liners. If you would like to check them out, I have the link for it in the description down below. And I just wanna apologize for the audio in this video, my mic, it's something wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I just ordered a new one. So the next video for next week should be a okay, hopefully. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video if you watched this far. I thank you guys for being so patient with me with my posting schedule because I know you guys are used to two videos instead of just one every week. I'm still trying to get a hang of concert creating and juggling school all in one. So just bear with me. I'm gonna just ask for y'all to just to be patient with me. But thank you for watching if you watched this far and I will see y'all in my video for next week.